Hello everyone. Before I present my research proposal, let me say thank you to my lecturer, Mrs. Dimatini Ayah, for the direction and correction, so I can finish my research proposal. And I don't forget to say thank you very much for my friends here for your participation. Let me introduce myself. My name is Linda Sivirulwanaya from Counting D. Before we go to the next slide, thank you for opportunities that has been given to me to present my proposal with the title, Accounting Treatment of Fixed Assets Based on the Financial Statement of Public Number 7 in the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Food of Smaran Agency in 2020. This is my content. First of all, what I want to tell is about background of research. Fixed asset based on the financial statement of public number seven are tangible assets that have a useful life of more than 12 months to be used or intend to be used in government activities or utilized by the general public. In order for fixed asset to be used, longer than their useful life, they must be managed systematically, accountably, efficiently, and transparently, so, so that they can be shown to the public. Because the government receives income from the community, the government also must be responsible for saving the community. The Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Food of Smarang Agency still doesn't understand correctly how to implement fixed asset management based on the financial statement of public number seven. So I decide Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Food of Smarang Agency to be the object of my final of my final project. Based on the background above, the research questions are first, how recognize of fixed assets based on the final of the financial statement of public number seven in the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food of Smarang Agency. Second, how measure of fixed asset based on the financial statement of public number seven in the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food of Swarang Regency. And the third, how disclose of fixed asset based on the financial statement of public number seven in the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food of Swarang Regency. So I want to tell you about the purpose that we can conclude from the research question. First, to know the method of how recognizing fixed asset in the Department of Agriculture Fisheries and Food of Sumatra Agency. Number second, to know the method of how measuring fixed asset in the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food of Sumatra Agency. And the last, to know the method of how disclosing fixed asset in the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food of Sumatra Agency. The research also has the benefit. There are as a information to pay attention to the ability of the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food of Sumatra Regency to apply accounting for fixed asset in accordance with financial statement of public number seven. So this research can help overcome existing problems with the new solutions. Second, as a means to, to increase knowledge and apply that has been obtained from learning in lectures with the condition in the corporate world. In the last, as a means of reference and information for future researchers who take the theme of fixed asset, especially for college students of Diploma of Accounting of Smarang State Polytechnic to prepare their final research. After I present the background of the research until the benefit, then to answer it all, it was found in the literal review with first definition of fixed asset. Like I said before, the definition from financial statement of public number seven. Second, classification of fixed asset. Based on the permanent Q, 2000, oh sorry, 225 PMK number five, 2019 about central government accounting policies. Fixed asset are classified into land, equipment, machine, building, road, irrigation, and network. And the last, accounting treatment of fixed asset. In this section, I attach starting from the acquisition, measurement, depreciation, discontinuation, until the 
financial report until the financial report. I got the data with research method DERA from data classification can be divided into based on the nature and based on the source. First, type of data based on the nature. There are quantitative and qualitative. And then type of data based on the source. There are primary data and secondary data. I collect the data with documentary and interview. The documentary method is a method used to trace historical data. And the interview is a method of collecting data by asking questions of obtaining broad information about the object of research. I, pro I process the data with collecting the necessary data, such as a list of fixed asset, calculation of depreciation, and reporting on the financial report in Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Food of Semarang Regency in 2020. Recalculating data, the acquisition of fixed asset, depreciation of fixed asset, until apply the fixed asset in the financial report. And the last, correcting the calculation of fixed asset management if the calculation are unsuitable with financial statement of public number seven. And the last, I apply my research schedule. To close, I would like to say thank you for your attention. See you in another games.